The Constant Spring Police are investigating the shooting death of a man on Manning's Hill Road in St. Andrew on Tuesday. The deceased have been identified as 48-year-old Marlon Byfield, otherwise called Sniper of the Community. Reports are that around 12.20 p.m., Byfield was raking in front of his yard when gunshots were heard. On the arrival of the police, he was seen lying in a pool of blood with what appears to be gunshot wounds. He was rushed to a medical facility where he was pronounced dead. A pregnant woman was among two persons fatally shot in Portland last night. She has been identified as 28-year-old Shade Pink of Campbell Avenue in Port Antonio. The other deceased is 23-year-old Kina James of Johnstone Road also in Port Antonio. The police indicate that a preliminary investigation is suggesting that the pregnant woman was the target of the attack. It has been theorized that the attack stemmed from a love triangle gone bad. The Port Antonio police report that around 11 o'clock on Tuesday night, Pink and James were among persons playing a game of domino at Alfred Lane in Portland when a great Toyota Fila motor car drove up and a gunman exited the rear of the vehicle and opened fire. At the end of the shooting, Pink, who was in an advanced stage of pregnancy, and James were found suffering from gunshot wounds. They were taken to the Port Antonio Hospital where they were pronounced dead. A man was gone down along a dirt road in Mount Salem St. James on Monday. The unidentified man is believed to be in his late 40s. The body is of a dark complexion, slim built, about 6 feet 2 inches long, and sports a low-cut hairstyle. The man was dressed in a white merino and black shorts. Residents living living at Brunswick Lane reported that around 5.30 p.m. they heard loud explosions and called the police. At least one man has died and several other injured following a motor vehicle collision along the roads all main road in St. James on Wednesday morning. The deceased has not yet been identified. The other injured passengers were reportedly rushed to hospital. According to a report from the Jamaica Fire Brigade, they received a call of a motor vehicle accident on the roadway in the vicinity of the Half Moon Shopping Village about 2.15 a.m. Three vehicles, a Toyota Noah in which the deceased was traveling, a Sabaro Impressa and a Toyota Mark X were involved in the early morning pileup. According to eyewitnesses' accounts, the three vehicles were traveling in the direction of Montego Bay when the Toyota Noah hit a curb wall, spun out of control and overturned. The man was allegedly thrown from the vehicle during the impact.